Hey everyone, I am Ethelis and welcome back to Freak Motion. In today's video, we are going to create this. This entire product animation video created on After Effects. This is a very simple video and in this video, I talked about lot of things that can be used in any projects. Also, special thanks to Monster One for sponsoring this video. We will talk more about this later in this video. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. Alright, I already created a composition with standard settings. And here is the product image that I downloaded from Monster One website. Let's create the background first. For doing that, let's take the paint tool and draw a random line like this. Make sure stroke is turned on and take some bright color for the stroke. And make sure fill is off. Then go to effects and presets and search for first blocks blur. Change the blurriness value to 150. Now open the shape layer, click on this add button and add trim paths. First change the end value to 0, then add a keyframe on the end. Then go forward to 2 seconds and change its value to 100. After that go to effects and presets and apply wave warp effect. And place this effect on the top. Now change the wave height value to 160 and wave width value to 150 so that the line keeps animating till the end of the timeline. Now we need to duplicate the lines multiple times. Also use a different color for each lines. You can use colors according to your project. I am fast forwarding this process so you guys don't get bored. After all it should look like this. Now select all the layers and pre-compose it. Let's create a solid layer. and place it under the background layer. Go to effects and presets and search for fill effect and apply it on the layer. You can choose background colors according to your lines. I am keeping it white for now. You can apply curve effect in the background layer just to fix the contrast. Alright now take the shape tool and create a shape like this. Turn off the stroke and fill it with a white color. Place the shape like this. On one second, add a keyframe on the position, then come back to first frame and change the position something like this. This is simple safe animation. Drag this layer forward by a few seconds. Let's add some text on the bottom part. Take the type tool and type any text you want. Adjust the size and the position. Open position property and on 2 seconds add a keyframe on the position. Then come back to 1 second and change its position value something like this. Now select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Go to graph editor and change the curve something like this. Perfect. Make a duplicate of the text layer by pressing Ctrl plus D. Now change its position towards the center but make sure you select both the keyframes. Now make another copy and place it towards the right side. Then just change the text. After all, it should look like this. To make it more dynamic, you can offset the layers by 4 to 5 frames. Perfect. Alright, let's talk about today's sponsor, Monster One. It is a subscription based service that gives you access to a vast library of digital assets. You can have the access to over 450,000 premium digital items, including web themes presentation template, graphics, and audio video assets, all with a single subscription. With Monster One, you pay once and you can access everything featured in their subscription plans. Do you remember the intro? That was nice, right? Alright, let me show you how I created the intro within few minutes. First of all, go to Monster One website. Once you get the subscription, you have the access for using all of these templates. Here is the intro template that I am using in this video. You can download it easily from here. Once you download, you will get a file like this. Inside the file, you will get all the assets that are being used in the template. Also, there is a small tutorial on how to use the template. And this is really helpful for everyone. Here you can get all the footages and here is our main After Effects file. 
so let's open it so here is our project and you can see how many composition it took to make this kind of animation here you can find a logo animation composition go to that composition and just replace the logo with your own logo come back to main composition and your intro is ready similarly you can change the text as well also here is the control layer using this you can easily change the color tone of the project or you can change the color of the brushes separately from here so replace the logo and the text so replace the logo and the text and put it on the render this is that simple so make sure you check out the website and i can assure you that this is something that can really save you lots of time and effort all right let's back to our main topic all right let's create a save for our city button but make sure you place the anchor point towards the right just like this open scale property and add a keyframe on the scale then come back to first frame and change its value to 0 easy is the keyframes and change the curve curve something like this if you drag this point towards the downside it will give a bounce on the animation let's apply drop shadow effect on it adjust the value slightly also change the color to this nice orange color add a text for the city place it properly then create a mask on it just like this open the text layer go to animate and add position using this we can animate the text layer first place the layer properly text should come after the save so adjust the timings accordingly select the keyframes and easy is them change the graph graph something like this press f to open the mask feather and increase the feather amount a little bit to get rid of the sharp edges now just adjust the layer timings properly and your CTA button is ready. Let's work on the product. First take the ellipse tool and create a circle like this. Place the anchor point here, then add a simple scale of animation. Just like we did for the CTA button. Once done, easy is the keyframes and also change the grab curve. You can add the bounce here as well. Let's add our product here. Adjust the size and mask out the portion that you want. You can use any shape, but I'm using the circle to match it with the background circle. Place the image properly. You need to place the anchor point on the same place for the product as well. And add the same scale of animation. Easy is the keyframes and adjust the graph similar to the other circle. To spice it up more, we can add a simple rotation animation here. Just like this. These simple things makes the animation more engaging. Perfect. But make sure you place the circle in the way it should look like this. It's coming out of the city button. Alright, let's add the background text. First type any text you like, enable the stroke and disable the fill. Change the stroke color to black, adjust the stroke size and scale according to your composition. Then pre-compose the layer, give it a name you like, open the layer, take the, take the region of interest tool and crop the text part only. Just like this. Now go to composition and select crop com to region of interest. Now go back to main com. Place it properly again. Apply motion tile effect on the text composition. Then go to one second and change its value something like this. So that it covers the composition. Place the anchor point here. Go to first frame and add a keyframe on the tile center. Then after few seconds, change the tile value something like this. Place this keyframe at the end of the timeline so that it keeps animating till the end. Now place the layer at the bottom and adjust the layer's position something like this and your product animation is done. Enjoy the preview. 
So this is all for today. I hope you like the video. Make sure to check out the monster one and don't forget to use my link to get 10% discount on all products. So thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Till then have fun and stay safe guys.